Hey, hey, hey. Y'all know what this is. Y'all see what's sitting in front of you. The Yeezy 700. Vanta. V2. I bought these from Clicks and Kicks in Chicago. No, Milwaukee. Um... I was able to catch these, uh, the boutique here, then I have them, and I wasn't going to go for these, uh, because I was going to wait for the V1s to come out, um, and the reason why is because I like the fit of the V1s better than, the, um, fit of the V2s, but I like the silhouette of the V2s, um, I would say first over the V1. So one is more chunkier. The V1 is more chunkier. And the V2s have a more slimmer uh, silhouette. So. What is this looking like? Kind of dark. I don't know. But. Let me see something. Here we go. Turn the light up a little bit on my camera. So, yeah, I got these. Um, shout out to my girl, Renee. She had went to Clicks and Kicks um, earlier that day. And she was like, um, they still got some. You should have told me that you wanted them. And I said, well, you know, let me call them and see if they have my size and see if they will let you pick them up for me, even though you're not the one paying for them. And they said, yes, but. They was about to close and she lives a little bit of ways from them. So I just went on ahead and I ordered them and um, they shipped them by Saturday uh, FedEx. Uh, they came in two to three, three days later. And so, um, yeah, I think I got them Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday or Wednesday. They came, I think they came Thursday. So I just got them, but I tried to do a little video. It was sorry and <laughs> i was tired and i'm really tired today i really don't feel like shooting videos but i need to get these out because i'm kind of late so anywho for the ones that watch my channel who may not have seen the vantas you know this is it i really like this shoe i put it on um i tried them on i sprayed them down with my rejuvenator but, and of course, I don't have my flashlight up here, but because with black shoes, it's always so hard, even on computers, to kind of see because everything is so dark. But basically on the shoe, it's a little bit different from the Geo. They really upgraded this shoe and I'm so glad I got it. And I'm going to tell you why in a second but these this right here lights up we're on the geo it did not it was um suede this part wasn't suede but this part was suede the only other stripe as far as like the stripes that lit up on the geo um the three stripes do not light up on this one the only thing that lights up is this piece right here am i doing it right yeah this strip right here is the only strip that lights up and then it's the regular you know places that it lit up this right here inside the the dots back here i believe the pan the thing right here you know this strip right here lights up and then the pods right here they light up and then also on the shoe is a sprinkling of um some of the 3m throughout the the sole it's not a lot and you won't see it unless you put the flash on it. So I remember when I do it on foot um, to get my flashlight because I can't use my camera, my light on my phone when it's for, when it's facing uh, with the forward facing camera. I have to, I can only use it with the back facing camera. So it has the typical Yeezy, um, and let me take it out, the insole typical insole right here the author light and so typical boost and where did I... huh 
I'm looking for my black light, but I didn't put it that way. I normally put it because I was going to show you the, the black light test with the pods on the bottom, but hmm, I don't know where I could have sat it at. Anyway, you got your typical pods on the bottom. Um, your typical tongue. This is a different material than what's on the Geo. So if you see on the Geo, it has, it has this mesh material. This is also new buck. I thought I, I told you I was suede, but it's new buck. And it has this mesh on here. This is a different type of... um. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a different type of material. It's more of like a woven, it looks like, type of material um, all over the shoe, even the tongue, of course. So this is where the fit is different from the geodes. With my geodes, um... There's not a lot of cushioning in the inside, like on the V1s. That's what I liked about the V1s. Um, it has a lot of cushioning on the inside, more of a fitted feel, way more of a fitted feel. This one do not. It feels like just a shell of a shoe. Really no, except for the tongue, I, <laughs> there's really no cushioning in this Geo at all. So I have to wear a sock. And if I do not wear a sock with this, it'll be a little floppy with the um with the geo whereas i guess people was maybe complaining about the fit of the v2s and he really made up for it because you can tell the i don't know the materials of the shoe is thicker you can even tell that by the tongue it's thicker um and it gives a similar fit to the v1s with uh, the fitted feeling and I don't have to wear a sock with this one and it's very very comfortable um, so I could choose to wear a sock or I don't have to wear a sock with my Vanta um, Yeezys which is funny so I'm glad that you know if people complained or whatever maybe about the fit of the Vantas because uh, you definitely cannot, I definitely cannot go true to size on my geodes. Um, and on these, I cannot go true to size. I have to go up a half a size, but it's very comfortable. Um, and just all over a better fit on the um, shoe. And I think it has to do with maybe the tongue of the shoe. This tongue is really thick and heavy. Where it's not so much on this tongue. So yeah, this is a very thick tongue. So that's maybe where the more fitted, you know, comes from. But to me, the Vanta has a much better fit than the Geodes. So um, that is my review on the, on the uh, Yeezy 700 V2 Vanta. Please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think about the shoe. Um, subscribe if you're not. Share the video with your friends. And come and support your girl. And with that being said, y'all enjoy the, your weekend. Peace.